Podcasts on unctv.org are made possible through the financial contributions of viewers like you, who invite you to join them in supporting UNCTV. Welcome to North Carolina Weekend. I'm Deborah Holt Noel. For six years, the U.S. National Whitewater Center right outside of Charlotte has thrilled paddlers from around the country with Class 3 and 4 rapids. But the NWC is so much more than whitewater. We're going to show you some of the other family fun you'll find at this outdoor adventure park. On a clear North Carolina afternoon, paddlers get ready to put in and face Class 3 and 4 rapids, a scene that is common along the rivers in the mountains of North Carolina. But this is happening a stone's throw from downtown Charlotte, and this whitewater is completely man-made. The U.S. National Whitewater Center, opened in 2006, has been using human ingenuity to bring world-class whitewater to the Queen City. Well, the way it works is uh, you got to build what they call head. In other words, you got to create some elevation. So what we do is we've got two ponds. The lower pond which holds about 12 million gallons. We then take that water and we pump it up to the top pond. The top pond's about 21 to 22 feet higher in elevation. So we use seven 680 horsepower pumps to pull about 536,000 gallons per minute back up to the top. That's filling an Olympic swimming pool about every 20 seconds. What then happens is we release that water out of the top pond through channels. The channels that you see here, for example, are squeezed and opened up, which helps push and release that water, which creates the white water. We also have the drops, and we also have the obstacles that help create the white water. It all creates class three, four white water. It's pretty simple in concept, I'll be honest with you, it's a lot harder than any of us ever imagined in that detail level. And when you get to the bottom of your run, doing it all over again is as easy as sitting tight and letting a conveyor belt take you back to the upper pond. The combination of convenience and quality whitewater has world-class paddlers all over the country taking notice. It is. It's the official training center for USA Canoe and Kayak, which is the national governing body for paddle sports here in the country. Uh, we're also an official Olympic training site. You know, it's, it's a great venue. It's one, it's one of a couple that we have in the United States. However, this is the one that is typically used for our competition. So actually training here, most of the time, gives me a little bit of a home field advantage. The water is pretty good. It's surgy, which the paddlers tend not to like too much. But at the same time, you know, it's big water, it's good water, it's good practice. And like I said earlier, it, it gives us a lot of diversity. So we are able to, to paddle well on other courses that might mimic this a little bit. But you don't have to be an Olympic hopeful to enjoy the rapids at the USNWC. It actually might be one of the best places to try paddling for the first time. But we've also got just weekend warriors from all over the country that come here and play. We've got people that have never been whitewater paddling before, getting on rafts with a guide. We give you the life jacket, the helmet, the paddle, on the instruction, and everything you need just to come out here and go whitewater rafting in Class 3-4 whitewater. There's no confusion over the fact that the center of the USNWC is its man-made river. But that, as they say, is just the tip of the iceberg. Well, we've got uh, two structures. We have a 46-foot tall uh, freeform tower. And uh, we also have a 30-foot tall imprint wall. Uh, we've got a lot of routes from uh, kitty routes all the way to 513 uh, expert routes. And uh, we're just glad to have every level of climber out here. You can also find 14 miles of mountain biking trails. And there's a trail for every skill level. Rope courses, zip lines, and canopy tours weave through the forests like a giant spider web to test your courage once your feet leave the ground. And yes, there's even more water. The Catawba River provides flat water for all of your traditional paddling, and you even have the chance to try something new, like stand up paddle boarding. Um, so really just about anything you want to come and do out here that's out, outside, you can come do it here. 
Oh yeah, the, the options are endless out here. Um, I just think it's awesome that, uh, that we now have that ability to uh, offer the outdoors people a lot of varieties here in our own backyard. You know, getting people off the couch is the important thing. I look at a lot of 16-year-olds who are busy playing with video games, and it's good to see them coming out and trying something a little more aggressive. Throw in an on-site restaurant with a great selection of food and beers on tap, heated locker rooms, and the short drive, it becomes hard to come up with a reason to not visit the USNWC. And that, too, is by design. For the most part, you have very, very little trouble getting the horse to drink the water. The problem is getting the horse to the water. So we've changed the equation. We bring the water to the horse. The U.S. National Whitewater Center is at 5000 Whitewater Parkway in Charlotte, and their main gate and trails are open 365 days a year, weather permitting. Their website has all the info you need, so just go to usnwc.org to find out more. Podcasts on unctv.org are made possible through the financial contributions of viewers like you, who invite you to join them in supporting UNCTV.